My name is Leslie Ann Kane, and I'll be playing the four chairs. My name is Pura Lavisa, I'll be playing the music. I'm Brother Anthony Sloan, and I'm, I'll be doing a narrator. And also, I adapted this story from uh, a, a Southern African tale from the, from the uh, Botswana people of Southern Africa. It's very short, so pay attention. And there's going to be audience participation. Let me show you what happened. What will happen is when you see a letter like this, and I put up the letter, we'll be a musician, and I'll be up there. When you put the letter like that, you say that letter. So let's, let's try this one. Ready? R. Very good. Let's go. How Saval Got Spots. It's a traditional tale from the Botswana people adapted to audio drama by Brother Anthony Sloan. So we begin. One day, long, long ago, Tortoise was plodding slowly home. This is shameful. I have not eaten all day. I am hungry and I am tired. Suddenly, so, sort of saw so something jumping and twisting through the very long grass. I wonder what that could possibly be. It was Saval, the wild cat. Hello? said the Sval, the wild cat, jumping back and forth over slowly moving tortoise. Hello, S-E-R-V-A-L, Sval, the wild cat. Why do you look so sad, tortoise? <laughs> I am just so tired and so hungry. Oh, poor old tortoise, said Saval, softly laughing behind a full face of whiskers. Here's the problem. You walk too slowly to find fresh fruit. This is true enough. S-E-R-V-A-L, Saval, the wild cat. Why don't you follow me and I'll show you where some nice food is. Saval so hopped and ran ahead of Tortoise. Poor Tortoise could not go very fast and soon Saval was out of sight. So far out of sight. You took a very, very long time to get here. Sorry, my legs are not but so long. You look even more tired than before because I went as fast as I could. S E R V A L Saval the Wild Cat. I suppose you can't help being slow. Anyway, there's a nice wood I was talking about. Pointed to the leaves of an evergreen tree, poor tortoise could only stare at the leaves. They were too far above. So Val jumped up and down and with a short laugh ran away. Tortoise had been tripped. Weeks later, Tortoise saw Saval jumping and running in the veil and called. Say Saval, over here it's Tortoise. Oh I Tortoise. Have not seen you in quite some time. S-E-R-V-A-L, Saval the Wild Cat. 
That is true, that is true. Why don't you come over to the house for a meal? Sarah was surprised, but thought Tortoise must have forgotten that the severe joke played on him. Uh, okay, sure. It was autumn. Tall heads of grass seeds tossed in the wind. A late storm was over the valley. The lightning set some of the grass alight near Tortoise's home. Friend Saval, yelled Tortoise. You have black spots all over you from the burnt grass. You can run quickly. Go and wash in the river. So Val ran across the grass to the river. The problem was that Saval had to cross the burn patch again and again when he came back. But you are still very, very dirty. S-E-R-V-A-L, Saval the wild cat. Protested Tortoise. I have prepared a delicious feast. Go and wash before we eat. Each time Saval came back from the river again and again and again and again at the same, the same condition. Each time Saval ran off, the tortoise ate some more food. The food was smelling so delicious, it was now fading. Soon Saval saw that there was hardly any food left. The vow saw the smile on Tortoise's face and turned around and ran home, realizing the trick that had been played. To this day, Saval has black spots from across from, from crossing back and forth over the burned grass so many times. <laughs> I had to do the narrator. We had another narrator, but he got sick. It would have been like, <laughs> Okay, y'all can continue. You want some music? Yes, please. Um, music. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 